In this video, I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do to sell your first NFT to get rich and buy your own Lamborghini, maybe even a real one. Hi, my name is Alex and after showing you a couple of ways how you can easily make NFTs yourself, a lot of you asked me in the comments, yeah nice, but how do I actually sell it? Well, that's a good question. And it's actually easier and also harder than I thought. <laughs> Since you can't just put your NFT on Amazon or eBay and sell it for classic dollars, you need to jump a bit deeper in the crypto world and set up a wallet, buy cryptocurrency to cover gas fees and what the hell are gas fees? And then you can start minting your NFTs and also what is minting? Don't worry, we'll cover all of this in this video. As you see, there are a few steps for you to sell your art, but don't worry, we can do it. And at the end of the video, you'll be ready to change the world forever with your amazing NFTs. But you know what would change my world forever? If you hit the like button under this video, Video for the YouTube algorithm to help me and my channel out. Thank you so much. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. You finished your first NFT and now you want to present it to the world and sell it on OpenSea. Sure, there are a few more places where you can sell your NFTs, but as far as I know, OpenSea is the biggest one at the moment, so we focus on this one in this video. One thing you'll notice on a lot of Web3 pages is that it asks you to connect your wallet to the site. What does that mean? Do you have to swipe your credit card through the screen? No, it means you need a digital wallet where you store your cryptocurrency so you can send and receive cryptos. So, step one, get a wallet. I'd recommend getting MetaMask since it's very common and super easy to set up. Just go to metamask.io and download the program. But wait, 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 was that too fast? What exactly is MetaMask? MetaMask is the tool you need for pretty much anything you can imagine in the new crypto era. It stores and protects your cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and data. By using a website through MetaMask, your data also gets hidden behind the MetaMask. So it's way harder to access your personal information and data. So as the name implies it's kind of like wearing a mask. This tool also gives you the ability to buy goods and services with crypto. So because of all that, getting MetaMask is definitely step one. So now that you have your wallet, let's put something in there. Since OpenSea works on the Ethereum blockchain, everything unfortunately is pretty expensive because you always have to pay gas fees on every transaction you make. Wait, what are gas fees? Gas fees are payments from us users to compensate computing power and energy that is required to process and validate transactions on the Ethereum. Ethereum blockchain. Fortunately, with more and more people using Ethereum, the gas fees are also getting higher and higher, which definitely is a pretty big problem. Especially when you are starting out, buying an NFT for, let's say, $250, it can easily cost you up to $400 thanks to high gas fees. But to buy and sell NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain, you need some Ethereum. Watch until the end of this video to find out how you can win one Ethereum for free. So step two is buy Ethereum. There are countless places where you can buy Ethereum. The first place I ever bought crypto, even back in 2017, was Coinbase. I like the simple interface and it just works. Sure, it doesn't have all the latest hype coins, but the most important ones are on there. And as I've said, it's just easy. Also, if you sign up with the link under this video in the description, you get $10 in Bitcoin for free. Wait, now everything I just said sound like an ad. I promise it's not. It's just I like the service a lot, so that's why I use it. So just go on your favorite place where you buy your crypto, get some Ethereum, and after some annoying gas fees, you're ready to go. Now that you have your Ethereum in your, let's say, Coinbase wallet, it's time for you to send step three, your Ethereum to MetaMask. For this, just go on send money and copy the wallet link from your MetaMask into Coinbase. Be very, very careful on this step because if you make a mistake in your address or even have the smallest typo, your money will be gone forever. So always triple check everything when when you transfer crypto or money in general. Just be smart. <laughs> when everything's right, just click on send and you've guessed it, gas fees are waiting for you. <laughs> you have no other choice than agreeing and the rest of your money is now on its way to MetaMask. This might take a little bit, but it should arrive very shortly after in your MetaMask wallet. If everything worked, you're ready for the next step and you're almost at the finish line. So pull through. Step four, connect your wallet to OpenSea. On OpenSea, you now have to connect your wallet to the site. In your MetaMask wallet, all your important information like crypto balance, possible NFTs and ownerships and so on are stored. So by connecting your wallet, you automatically create an account on OpenSea and OpenSea pretty much does the rest. As you can see now, the steps are getting shorter. So let's go over to the finish line. Step five is upload your NFTs. Let's rapid fire through this one. Click on create, then ask you to sign inside of MetaMask. This will maybe be your first surprise because it might already ask you for gas fees. You already got used to it. Yeah, I know it still hurts. I know. Okay, from here, you just upload your image, put in a name for it, and fill out the rest on the site. So if you have a website for your NFT project, put it in here. Think of a dope description, 
put it in there. And if you have more than one NFT and you've watched my video about creating a whole NFT collection, just create a collection on here. If you have specific properties, don't forget to add them here because it makes your NFT more valuable. So do it. If you have levels, stats, put them in here. And if you decided OnlyFans doesn't pay enough and you'd rather upload your nudes on here, don't forget to check this box. <laughs> Last step is to choose your blockchain, which I'll keep on Ethereum since we went through all this trouble. And if you now click on create, it might ask you for another gas fees one more time. Time, but by now you probably died inside anyways and you just don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now your NFT is on OpenSea. The last step now is to click on sell. Here you put in the minting price you want. Don't you think we should maybe ask for more than a million dollars? A million dollars isn't exactly a lot of money these days. Minting means first price for your NFT. Don't forget to set a royalty percentage. So when your NFT gets sold after it's minted, you continue making money. And that's pretty cool. So if you now watched all of this without actually knowing how you make an NFT collection yourself, check out this video up here where I explain to you step by step very easily. Easily. And if you want to learn how to make easy 3D NFTs like the one I used in this tutorial, check out this video down here to learn that. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to have the chance to win one Ethereum as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel. Thanks to your support, we're growing quickly. My name is Alex. Thank you so much for watching. Stay smart, stay safe, and I'll see you next Wednesday.